And I told you that I would have a big surprise for you at the end of this, a big update. Hello, everyone, especially my 53 subscribers. Today I am reviving a series that has kind of taken a large hiatus on my channel, um, and that's my 2020 series. I know it's 2021, I might change it to my 2020s series, essentially just my vlog series. <laughs> yes, um, I took a break from this after 2020 um, just to see kind of what what not talking about my feelings online would do. <laughs> I did acknowledge a large dip in not having a weekly, bi-weekly, whatever, however often I actually ended up doing it, maybe like monthly, um, time to just sit down and sort of process everything that was, I was feeling, everything that had happened in the last week or two weeks or whatever. Yeah, and so I decided I wanted to start doing that again. You might notice that my background is different. Uh, some big updates on my life. So I'm gonna start off with just a basic update that is going to be very apparent, um, but I'm going to save one very special update for the end. That's Draco in the background, um, provided I didn't crop that out because the room is a mess. I'm gonna keep it uncropped for a minute. That way you can see this insane room. <laughs> I'm going to start off with a large update, which is that I moved again. Uh, Dorian and I moved out. Uh, we moved into an apartment, just us. It's it's good, we're enjoying it. I actually, we moved into the apartment that I originally lived in when I started YouTube. Not the same apartment, but uh, we moved back to that complex. We actually live across the parking lot from my old unit. That's kind of interesting and strange. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's big main update. I want to, uh, in this video, talk about my second quarter goals and kind of just see where where I'm gonna be taking the channel uh, here soon. This is one that anybody that watches my channel pretty frequently or anybody that kind of just wants to weigh in, even if this is your first video on my channel, I would really love opinions, I would love thoughts, ideas. <laughs> so I'm gonna get into my second quarter goals. Anybody that watched my 2020 series knows that I do coaching. I'm not a coach, I get coached. Um, and my coach and I were talking about ways that I can feel more accomplished in my year. I'm gonna let Drake out. So yes, we talked about ways that I can feel more productive with my year. And instead of doing things like having New Year's resolutions or like knowing my big tell-all and all goals, um, it would be a good idea for me to set quarterly goals. Um, ones that sort of fall into the same demographic of my life that I want to be targeting, but that are realistically achievable in a smaller period of time. But for second quarter, I have decided that there are five areas that I want to focus on in my life. And so the first one is career. I want to be an actor. That has always been my overarching career goal. Um, I love performance. I've always loved performing. When I was younger, um, you know, my sisters and cousins and I would put on like plays and whatever for our family at family gatherings. And you know, when I would play with like my younger cousin, anytime that we would play a game, we would play it as though we were shooting a TV show. So if we would like trip up on words, then we'd cut and we'd go back. Um, if we like, had to go eat dinner or, you know, had to go to the bathroom or whatever, then we cut, we do like a segue real quick to a commercial break. Uh, so yeah, acting has always been something that I've wanted to do. You know, when I was uh, in high school, I was a theater kid. Then when I was 17, I was accepted to a performance conservatory. I did modeling for a little bit, nothing, nothing that's even like searchable. Um, I was like a Redken model. Then I went to film school, and unfortunately when I was in film school, I was too preoccupied with like taking care of my home life that I wasn't really able to try and audition for things. I wasn't able to like go be on sets as often, which is a cry and shame. Like that's literally why you go to film school is to be a part of films. It's way less about the piece of paper and way more about the experience. Yeah, and then after leaving film school, I've only been in like one TV show um, as an extra. So I want to, in my second quarter, 
take new headshots, which Dorian's gonna help me with. And I wanna start applying to agencies out here. I applied with, um, oh, sorry, my eye allergy season now. But yes, I want to apply to some agencies out here. I've already applied with ones that are like four extras and they had some offers for me to like be a stand-in and stuff, which is fun and cool, but uh, didn't really lead anywhere for me right now. So I want to see what other avenues there are. If anything, it's just sort of putting myself out there a little bit more again. All right, number two is education. Education has always been very important to me. I love learning. I want to be a professional student. <laughs> um, I've gotten my certification in massage therapy, obviously, and my license, obviously. Um, I've gone to film school. I have went to college for an English degree that I haven't finished. I went to college for a social services degree that I haven't finished. <laughs> Um, so yes, I'm reapplying for the social services school that I was in, um, and we're trying to figure out like financial aid and what I can do as far as, you know, being enrolled, um, for the 2021-2022 school year. So yeah, just getting, getting all of those things figured out is going to be huge towards once again improving my education. Um, and if I can't, if financial aid isn't really an option for me, and I find that, you know, doing like a class at a time, trying to pay out of pocket isn't really benefiting me, then um, I might look at other avenues, but that might be third quarter things. Three, my finances. Uh, I am very big into law of attraction. I've always since I was young, held the belief that money comes easily and frequently. There's always more than enough. I always have what I need. I always have more than what I need. And that's always been true. Um, granted, I know there are people that are like, yeah, that's not law of attraction. There's other circumstances. And I'm aware of that. It makes me feel better believing that I manifest to at least some extent the wealth that I have. I've noticed recently that my finances have gotten a lot easier. Um, money is coming to me a lot more quickly, a lot more frequently, a lot more easily. And uh, I'm at a point where I don't want to just be wasting it. I don't want to be in my 20s just like blowing it out at the bars or, I mean, obviously pandemic, can't really be doing that one. But you know what I mean. <laughs> um, where I'm not just wasting money because I have it to blow. I have three areas in second quarter of finances that I want to work on. And the first area is to avoid extraneous rent bills. This is like the first and foremost that I want to get done. Obviously, as I pointed out, we moved. When you move, your rent isn't your rent. Um, yes, most places say, oh, our rent is this. And then when you actually get into the unit, it's like, okay, that's what you're paying in rent. In addition to your rent, you're paying this fee each month for our insurance, and then this fee each month for our water, and then this fee each month for our gas, and so on and so forth. Um, which sometimes is really easier, sometimes it does end up being less than what you would normally use, especially if you have like a larger family. Um, sometimes it is just an all and out ripoff, but you know, whatever. Where we're living right now, it does have a couple of those charges, and um, I actually have already prepaid some of those specific charges, like Draco's pet rent. Um, I already have that prepaid for the year. Our water and sewage, I have prepaid for the year, yada yada. And I want to get all of those out, that way each month, all that I'm paying after second quarter, which uh, will essentially end up being 10 months left on our lease after second quarter ends. You know, by the end of second quarter, I want to make sure that what we're paying to the apartment complex each month is just the rent charge. Second is I want to do the same thing with my bills. I want to avoid extraneous bills. So that means either getting rid of, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so that means either getting rid of bills that I don't need anymore. For instance, I just canceled my Audible because while I love audiobooks, while I love the freedom of reading and whatever. Um, the membership right now, it doesn't make sense for my finances because I'm not getting new books all the time. In fact, I'm trying to reread some of my old books more so than I'm trying to find new titles. Getting rid of bills that I don't need or 
bills that I can pay in advance that would just free up some of my money each month, I can do. For instance, like Netflix. We're the only people using my Netflix account really, and we're always watching it together. So there really isn't a need for us to have five screens available and a bunch of profiles and whatever. So we just have the really, really basic one. Um, and that's only like 10 bucks a month. So I could either pay 10 bucks a month or I can just buy a gift card with $130 on it and call it good. Um, so I wanna do things like that with the bills that I can do that. And then my last one is um, I want to start investing and I want to start investing uh, with at least $100. <laughs> I was talking to my coach who was very invested in finance for a long time and she was pointing out to me a couple of things that sort of are signs that you might be ready to start investing, to start making you know, your money work for you, um, bringing in like a residual income scenario. And I ticked off a lot of the boxes. So I'm like, okay, I think I'm ready, but I'm not gonna start out with like a ton of money. I'm gonna do really, really small investments that take a long time to mature. Uh, really slow moving investments, but I wanna start having something. Number four, my health. Health is another one that's always kind of been a big issue. <laughs> um, not because I'm lazy, not because I'm overweight, not because I don't try with my health or that I just eat junk food or anything like that. My health has just always been a challenge. One, because I do have an eating disorder. Anybody that has watched my 2020 or um, I have an entire video about like, about my eating disorder. But yeah, so that's always been an issue, my eating. And Dorian's actually making that really easy for me. Um, he's helping me a lot with that and making things a lot more palatable than anybody has before. Um, and I can get into a whole video with that later, but this video is just dedicated towards like the goal setting. I also will get into another video about this maybe, but I've had a lot of stuff happen over the last two years that has put my body at a very, very consistent state of like fight or flight. It's, I think it's your cortical levels, your cortisol levels whatever it is, the chemical in your brain that tells you like, I'm in a panic scenario. Um, my brain has been submersed in it. I know at least for like a year and a half, if not about two years. And I was watching something the other day about how that causes legitimate brain damage um, to like your memory, bunch of stuff. But so pretty much like my brain is in a state where it needs renovating, which is another thing that also um, I was exposed to is like how to cure your brain, you can't. Yeah, you are always in a state of like renovating your brain because your brain is more like a house where like if you put a hole in your wall, you're not healing your house, you're renovating it. You know, you're putting up new drywall or you're taking out the wall entirely and just making a different room or whatever, once something happens in your brain, you can't take it out. So you're at a state of just like reshaping and reformatting it rather than trying to heal it. Exactly, so this is all stuff that like I'm trying to work on um, that regards health. So <laughs> the tangible goal that I want for health um, is that Dorian and I are gonna be doing uh, different health challenges for probably more than just the second quarter. But right now, that's what we're trying to focus on. We're um, doing like food prep and talking about, you know, ways to improve our diet. And then we're going to be doing a series on, I think both of our channels, um, which by the way, plug shameless plug, wow. Go follow Idorios I. We're, yeah, we're just gonna be doing different health challenges each month. We're trying to figure out a way that we can do it to where maybe it's more of like a competition between us. Maybe we're doing like, he's doing this challenge where I'm doing this challenge that we're not, that way we're not like regurgitating the same video on two channels. And then my fifth area is social media. I have always had like a love hate thing with social media because I, for a long period of time, believed that like social media was bad, it was evil. I had the belief that, you know, everything was fake on it and people were always being fake and yada yada, all those things that you hear about social media. But yeah, so now I want to 
improve my social media, um, especially because like social media is how I'm meeting a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, uh, YouTube has introduced me to some of the greatest friends I've ever had in my life. Um, it's connected Dorian and I like great, um, you know, and that's one obviously that I'm going to continue working on. I have it as a goal that I want to do at least two videos a week uh, for the second quarter. That's at least. I have a ton of videos pre-recorded um, that, you know, when we were moving, when we were in the process of moving, I like streamlined a bunch of videos. Um, that way I could have consistent content coming out and, you know, just in case I had to go on hiatus and yada yada. And actually I've been on hiatus for a little longer than my channel hasn't had content. <laughs> Cause I probably haven't actually recorded a video in like two, maybe two and a half months. Um, whereas my channel has only not had content on it for I think about three weeks. But I still have a bunch that I haven't recorded yet, or that I haven't recorded, that I haven't edited yet that I'm going to be getting out. But obviously, like, Dorian and I are going to be getting our series off the ground um, doing that. I'm going to be having a series. I might be on another channel, actually, um, with my friend Alyssa, which, by the way, go check out Alyssa Markell. Um, her and I are going to be doing a, like, saucy romance uh, sex you know, love, it's just kind of show. Um, so yeah, that's coming down the pike. I know that won't be specific to my channel, but you know, doing stuff like that. Um, but I will definitely be having a lot of like Spyro videos on here, a lot of Sims videos. I'll be having videos with Dorian. I'm gonna be reviving this series more and having more of that time to just sit down and reflect on what I want, what's been going on in my life, um, the good, the bad, the pretty, the ugly, <laughs> the exciting, the boring, all that good. And then um, I wanna do three videos a week on TikTok, which my TikTok as well as all of my other social media are down in the description box below if you want to check it out. Um, I know I'm 26 and on TikTok, keep the comments to yourself. TikTok is fun, it's meant to be fun. Well, I'm on it for fun. There are a lot of really serious TikToks out there. Um, I'm on it to have fun. So if you want to see me have fun <laughs> and look kind of weird and see my animals and see Dorian, go follow it. I, like I said, I just, I try and have fun. <laughs> and then I want to have one photo um, minimum a week on Instagram. I've always been terrible at Instagram since I started it in high school. Um, I think I had it in high school and then posted like three pictures and then I didn't use it again until college. And then I want to have one blog post up a week. So once again, that is a blog post, not a vlog. My friend Noelle, she has a mental health blog. It is a, pers the, it is a perspective blog. It is not a professional blog, meaning that it is people expressing their feelings, their emotions. We're not giving out advice. We're not talking about like, oh, this is how you should live your life. This is how you should handle X, Y, Z things. It's just people talking about their own experiences. But yeah, she's asked me to write for it. Yeah, but so I want to make sure that I'm getting out a post for her each week. So those are my five uh, second quarter goals. And I told you that I would have a big surprise for you at the end of this, a big update. Uh, so yeah, let me go grab her. This is her, this is Ahsoka. Yeah, this is Ahsoka. She's our new little baby. Ugh. Say hi, Ahsoka. Oh, she doesn't have back paws, unfortunately. Um, Dorian and I might do a video explaining like the story of us getting her. Um, it's not a very long story, but it is kind of cute. So yes, I told you, big, big update. Hope Oof. it's not a disappointment. Aw. I just woke her up from a nap, so she's a little cranky. She is a kitten, she's only six months old, so she's supposed to be sleeping like 20 hours a day, so. <laughs> but yes, that is my my 2020. So there's a lot more coming down on the pike on my channel. There's a lot more Spyro, a lot more Sims, a lot more Dorian, a lot more Ahsoka. That's her name, by the way, Ahsoka. Um, a lot more Draco, a lot more me, a lot more of my friends. 
<laughs> so if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave a like. Comment below um, if you have any advice on any of anything that would help with like acting stuff, any of like the health oriented stuff, any way that, you know, if you have any resources out there, feel free, comment them below. Let me know your guys' thoughts, opinions. Let, let me know what you think about Little Miss Ahsoka. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you're not new and just haven't subscribed yet. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.